Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the integral calculus. Pero, yung pinaka-focus natin today is yung basic integration problem. Ang different nga lang dito is I included um, radical expression or radical sa mismong problem natin. We have number 1, number 2, and number 3. So, marami kasi nag-request sa mismong YouTube comments at YouTube uh, sa Facebook post ko na mag-create para ako ng mas maraming integral calculus videos. At ito na yung first natin guys for this school year or this year 2022. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here three different examples in which it includes radical expressions. So what I'm dito guys is I will try to explain it step by step process para sa mga nahihirapan sa integral calculus, malaman mo ay uh, paano kayo nangyari itong step na to? And I will explain it to you ng uh, mas madali mo maintindihan. So let's start with item number one. Um, sabi dito, integrate each of the following. So ito ay ano to guys, ha? indefinite integral to. We have the integral of the square root of x dx. So ano yung first step natin to solve this kind of problem? Ako, ang first step ko dito is I will uh, express this radical expression yung ating square root of x into an exponential one. So if I'm going to write this in exponential form, it will become the integral of x raised to one half dx. Again, x raised to one half dx. Okay? Now, sir, paano na po yung next step natin dito, guys? So dito, uh, yung mga problem natin, ng kalimitang rule lang na gagamitin natin is yung power rule. So, ano, sir, paano po ba yung power rule natin? Let's say, for example, you have here uh, the integral of x raised to n dx. Ang ating power rule to get the integral of this kind of given, simple lang naman, ang gagawin mo lang mag-add ka ng 1, we have x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Ito na may magiging sagot mo. At ito yung basic rule na gagamitin natin to solve or to find the integral, integral of the given examples here sa mismong board natin. So let's continue. Since meron na ako rito the integral of x raised to 1 half dx, at kung mapansin nyo, we only have the exponent of 1 half, we will apply this rule. So ang gagawin natin dito guys, copy yung x natin, and then we have the exponent of 1 half plus 1. Over, copy the exponent, and then plus 1, we have here 1 half plus 1. And don't forget yung ating plus c. Remember guys, for sure, na-experience nyo, nyo na rin to na may mga professor na hindi to, kapag talimutan mo to, mali na talaga. Mali talaga. Pero may mga iba naman na ano, nagkakaroon ng minus points. So, importante yung plus yun natin. And, simplify natin yung exponent. Yung 1 half natin plus 1 is equivalent to 3 over 2. Sir, bakit po agad 3 over 2? Guys, ano yun yun? Ganito lang yun. Shortcut lang naman to. Yung iba kasi nahihirapan dito or minsan hindi nila makuha kung bakit naging 3 over 2 agad-agad yung mismo simplified form nito. Remember guys, um, kapag nag-basic ano ka, um, adding of fractions, hanapin mo LCD. Pero ang simple rule lang naman dito ang ginagawa ko dito, if you have this denominator 2, or if you have 1 half, ang gagawin ko, I will transform 1 as a fraction. Pero, Dapat parehas lang sila, kaparehas siya ng mismong denominator natin. Yung fraction natin dito 1 is the same as 2 over 2. Remember, when you divide 2 by 2, that is equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin, kahit ito ay 2 over 2, 1 pa rin ang value niya. That's why, I can think easily na, ay, yung 1 half plus 1 natin is equivalent to 3 over 2. Ganyan lang siya kasimple guys. Kaya, minsan marami nawawala kasi ang naging problema agad nila ay yung mismong fraction exponent ng mismo ano, integration problem. So, this is 3 over 2. So, we have here um, x raised to 3 over 2. Same with our denominator. In 1 half plus 1 natin is 3 over 2 plus c. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos guys. Ha? We need to simplify this. Ang gagawin nga dito, if you have the denominator of a fraction, Get the reciprocal of 3 over 2, and that is 2 over 3. So, ang nangyari nga dito, you have 2 over 3 times your numerator x 
3 raised to 3 over 2 plus C. Ito rin yung sagot natin, guys. Sir, um, pwede bang ibayit siya sa pagkakaradical? Yes, pwede mo itong i-transform bilang um, radical expression. Pwede maging sagot mo ay 2, pwede siya maging 2, then um, square root of x cubed over 3. Pwede yan, plus C. Pwede maging sagot natin yan. Pero ito, sa akin, in, in my case, I'll accept this kind of answer. We have 2 over 3, x raised to 2 over, uh, 3 over 2 plus c. And this is our final answer. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung step-by-step -step process natin, item number 1. And now, let's continue with item number 2. For item number 2, we have the integral of dx over the fourth, over fourth root of x. Sir, yung radical natin ay nasa denominator. Don't worry. Kaya-kaya natin yan, guys. So, ang first step dito, ito lang. Gayun muna tong um, exponential. So, yung ating fourth root of x is the same as x raised to 1 over 4. So, paano po rin nangyari yan? Yung index natin dito, it will serve as the denominator of your exponent. At meron tayo dito sa ating radical na exponent na 1. And it will become the numerator of your exponent. So, kaya siya, ang equivalent form nito is the same as the integral of dx over x raised to 1 over 4. Ganyan lang siya kasimple, guys. Now, sir, what's next? Nasa denominator, denominator pa rin. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is to um, put this denominator sa ating numerator. Ang mangyayari ngayon, magkakaroon tayo negative exponent. So, it will become the integral of x raised to negative 1 over 4 dx. At the next natin dito is to apply the power rule. We have the exponent of negative 1 over 4. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, get the integral. It is equal to x raised to negative 1 over 4 plus 1. Add tayo ng 1, as always, over your exponent which is negative 1 over 4 plus 1 at huwag kakalimutan si plus c yeah. Now, sir, pwede ba natin i-apply shortcut na ginawa mo kanina sa pag ng exponent though negative yung isang exponent natin? Yes Ngayon, ang technique dito, isipin mo na yung denominator may 4 and this is a whole number, yung 1 natin So isipin mo, that is 4 over 4 So we have negative 1 4 plus 4 over 4, and that is positive, di ba? Tama ako, magiging positive siya. And that is x raised to 3 over 4, right? Kasi negative yung isa, negative 1 plus 4, that is 3 over 4. Over 3 over 4 plus c. And last step natin, last step natin is to get the... the reciprocal of 3 over 4, and that will give you the answer of 4 over 3 times x, or x raised to 3 over 4 plus c. And this is our final answer. Okay? So let's move on with item number 3. Medyo complicated to number 3 natin. For number 3, we have the integral of the of 3x squared plus square root of 5x plus 2 dx. So, what will happen? Or, ano yung first step natin dito? First step na gagawin ko dito is I will distribute dx. Okay? I will distribute dx tapos kukunin ko rin uh, kukunin ko yung integral ng bawat term. So, sir, paano po yun? So, we have 3x squared. So, what will happen here is we have 3 the integral of x squared dx. Sir, bakit po naging ganyan? Remember, kapag kumukha tayo yung integral, nilalabas natin yung mismo ano, constant. Minus square root of 5. Factor out ko itong dalawang to, kasi constant si 5x, guys. Uh, square root of 5, integral of the square root of x, that is, that is yung factor out, or pag yun, and then dx here, plus 2, constant siya, 
integral of dx. Next step natin is to get the integral of each term. Dito, ang integral natin dito, ginawa natin to, this is 3 times. Nag-start na gumamit ng power rule. x squared, x squared plus 1 over, gaya natin itong, yung, itong ating exponents, so 2 plus 1. And as for this, we have here minus square root of 5. Kung natin dalang yung minus square root of 5. Eh sir, paano po ito ang ating, ano, itong ating square root of x? Gawin mo siyang exponential. Remember? So this is times x raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1. Plus... Ito na tayo sa next na gabi natin, plus, ito naman, yung 2 natin, yung integral ng dx natin, it will create a variable, and that is 2x, plus c. Huwag kakalimutan. So, may di ba trabaho lang dito yung second term? For the first term, we have here 3 times x cubed over 3. Mapapansin nyo, you can cancel out this one, cancel out this one. Maging x cubed na lang siya. Minus, ito naman, square root of 5. Here, you have x raised to 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. Parang ito lang yung kanina. This plus 2x plus c. Next step natin, guys, is to copy this one, x cubed. Minus square root of 5. And then ito na guys. Get the reciprocal of this. That is times 2 over 3. And then ito naman. Pwede natin siya ibalik bilang radical. Magiging, uh, magiging square root of x cubed plus 2x plus c. So dito... Yung ating, ating, yung ating ano, um, square root of x cubed, we can simplify this as x times the square root of x. Kasi, na-factor to bilang x squared times x. So, ito yung simplified form niya. So, mag-skip tayo ng isang step lang. Gagawin natin ngayon dito. Open sin nyo. Um, pag simplify natin siya, meron na siya ngayong, ang matitala sa kanya x times the square root of x. Where in, kanina, pinag-iwalay natin sila dalawa, di ba? So, ang mangyari ngayon, pagsasamayin natin sila as um, a single expression lang. So, it will what will happen is, ito siya. We have x cubed. And then, di ba, sabi ko kasi nyo kanina, that is x square root of x. So, what will happen is, ito siya, maging ganto na siya. Meron tayong minus 2 thirds. Okay? 2 thirds x and then itong square root of 5, tapos yung ating square root of x, magiging square root of 5x. Tapos dito naman, sa third term natin, that is plus 2x plus c. And this is the final answer for this problem. I hope guys, na sa mismong uh, step-by-step process natin, ay nakuha niyo yung mismong ano, process kung paano kunin yung integral, or yung indefinite integral ng 3, different problems natin sa integration. So, I hope na nakuha nyo nga. And then, for the next video, I will find more complicated problems para sa inyo. And, I will continue uploading hanggang mapunta natin yung mas mayroon na problems sa integral calculus. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye. See you sa ating next video.